The report, the state of civil and political rights observance in Uganda in the era of Chisanja Hakuna Mchezo, was based on a study conducted from 2016 to 2018 among 356 respondents in 40 districts by researchers from the Makere University Human Rights and Peace Center. Hakuna Mchezo is a Swahili phrase President Yoweri Museveni used during his inauguration speech in May 2016 after winning a fifth elective term. He meant that there would be no playing games in the management of state affairs in the new term. According to the report, there are about 130 extrajudicial killings blamed on three security organs, the police, army, and the Uganda Wildlife Authority game rangers. The most reported violation was torture. Government spokesperson Ofono Pondo questioned the veracity of the findings. Of the 133, the UPDF was responsible for 40 killings, Uganda Police Force for 62, and Uganda Wildlife Authority for 31. You said that Uwa kills people and buries, buries them, as if Uwa has a cemetery in the parks. It is possible that people get lost in the park, eaten by animals. Yes, it is possible. When you enter a national park, you are not entering an amusement park. You are entering a den of lions. You have hippos. So basically, you are not going for a beauty contest. The purpose of these guns that you see with our men in uniform is to protect you who is inside the park protect the communities against uh, problem animals, to protect the rangers themselves against armed, and I'm emphasizing this, armed illegal entrants in the park. Action Aid International Director for Federation Development, Arthur Larocco, who discussed the findings, described the human rights violation in the country. The manner of torture that are captured in the 67 tactics in the annex of the report suggests there is so much displaced anger and bitterness in our hearts as a people. We need to reconcile in our hearts as a people and as a nation if we are to avoid continuous cycles of revenge. They will happen when this government goes. Atta Larocque talks about anger, but his presentation was... Of anger. Was littered with anger <laughs> at a personal level. At a personal level. <laughs> and you contradicted yourself upon a ponde. You simply contradicted yourself. And I'm not surprised. Your job is hard. The report also highlighted the shrinking responsibility of the police in keeping law and order with the army and intelligence organs seemingly taking the, off. The Uganda police force has actually been sidelined. Why do we have soldiers sitting on police vans doing police work? We'd like to see systems in place. We'd like to see institutions strengthened to do their constitutional mandate. They seem to be stuck in the archaic old paradigm that the role of the army is only defending the border. What happens then if somebody is killing his wife? Should an army man just stand by? because that is ordinarily the work of the police. Various arrests, especially of Muslims, the report highlights the fate of the Salaf sects as usual suspects. In the, in the course of our study, we discovered that between March and December 2017, Amirs or leaders of the Salaf sect from Gulu, Tororo, Busia, Butaleja, Bujiri, Iganga, were arrested by security agencies and accused of participating in the killing of Kawesi. Some of them were subsequently released without charge. Why? Recently, the police raided a mosque because people who had been linked to abduction of women in Kampana were planning those abductions from Wusafi Market Mosque. Are they saying that mosques should be a haven for planning criminality? Justice Kenneth Kakuru of the Court of Appeal and the Constitutional Court condemn the criminalization of the political activists. Activism or political views cannot be criminalized by the state because they are legitimate. So the, the opposition, if I don't agree with you, I don't become a terrorist or Justice a criminal. Justice Kenneth Kakuru also cautioned security organs against obeying illegal orders from their leaders, saying that one day the hunter might become the hunted. 
He cited the fate of the former Inspector General of Police, General Kari Kaihura. Those are lessons we need to learn and, 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 and there are strategies we, 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 we need to, to, to use to follow up and tell people, look, today you are violating our, our rights, but tomorrow you will have no one to, to defend you. Despite the shortcomings cited, Justice Kakuru says human rights violations during the current regime are minimal compared to previous regimes. Clinton Tumanye, NTV. The liberty of but one human being.